Hello all, welcome to SQL for Beginners training series. In this session, I'm going to explain and practically demonstrate the latest way of installing MySQL Server and Workbench client for practicing SQL, okay? So as per latest means, uh, I'm just recording this session in 2022, guys. It's latest as per 2022, it may work for many years, okay? So earlier, the installation process was a bit different, okay? When you compare 2022 with the previous years, now it got changed a bit as per the latest way of 2022. How to install MySQL server and Workbench client for practicing SQL has, it, has changed a bit, okay? Some options has been changed in the installation wizard of MySQL server installation that I'm going to demonstrate in this session. So let's get started. So database components, okay? So we have to, when you install MySQL server, there will be two things that will be installed, okay? Apart from the server, there is MySQL server, along with that, Workbench client will also be installed. You don't have to separately install it. When you install MySQL server, along with the Workbench client, you will get work, uh, along with the uh, MySQL server, we'll get the my, uh, Workbench client, okay? So this workbench client need to be used to run the SQL queries and communicate with the server to connect to the server where the databases are created and all stored and uh, and all those stuff. We need a client known as workbench client. And also from the workbench client, we can run the SQL queries on the, okay, on the server. On the server, if you want to run the SQL queries, you have to use this uh, client, okay? So we generally install this uh, workbench client in our uh, local machines and server stores the data in that into the database and it contains the databases and all those stuff. Generally in real time, it is installed in remote server machine, but in this session, I'm going to install both my SQL server and uh, workbench client for practice purpose in my same local machine. Okay. So far, uh, till the previous sessions, we have practiced SQL statements on DB hosted by the W3 schools website. Okay. So, so we have practiced uh, SQL statements on DB hosted by W3 schools, but now the time has come for us to install our own MySQL server to explore or practice other SQL statements which are not possible to be practiced on W3 schools website, okay? So let's install our own DB in our machine and uh, to create our own, to create the databases and all those stuff, we cannot use the W3 schools website, okay? They come up with a, uh, their own DB and their own tables and all those stuff. So the flexibility of creating our own DB and tables is not there at W3 schools. For that reason, we have to install my, our own MySQL server and uh, along with that comes Workbench client where you can run the SQL service, uh, SQL queries on the MySQL server, okay? And this MySQL server is an open source and is free of cost, guys. You don't have to pay any uh, license amount for using this MySQL uh, uh, RDBMS software. It's completely free and it's open source. So when you install the software, you will get both client and server, MySQL server and Workbench client, okay? Now let's uh, quickly follow the steps for installing this MySQL server, which comes along with the Workbench client software, okay? So we have to follow these steps uh, as it is, guys. First, we have to Google search for download MySQL on Windows, okay? As it is, you Google search, download MySQL on Windows. This is the first step and uh, You'll get two links here. They don't go, don't uh, use the first link, guys, uh, which has installed at the end, dev.mysql downloads install. Don't use this link. Rather use dev.mysql downloads MySQL. Okay, as you can mention, I mentioned here, you see the notes, devmysql.com downloads MySQL we have to use. Okay, second link you use, not the first link. Click on this second link. It will take you to this page, guys. What's the next step? Click on go to downloads page. Okay, here there will be some downloads page. Go to download page, click on that, you'll be taken here. And then we have to select to download the MySQL installer community version. Here there are two versions available here, MSI installer versions, MySQL installer web community, MySQL installer community. We have to go with the normal community, not web community. So I'm going with the next uh, second one, okay? Click on the download button here. And uh, here it is asking you to sign up or log in if you already have an account. It's not compulsory here, guys, because they have provided an option here. No thanks, just start my download. Okay, with this option, I don't have to sign up or log in, guys. Just directly click on the link. It will be downloaded in your machine. Let wait. Let's wait for the download to finish up, guys. Okay, and then we'll go with the next steps. Okay, you don't have to register or download, guys. Directly you can download. 
and then okay now once it is downloaded we are going to double click on this msi file and we are going to get an installation wizard guys on the installation wizard we have to click on next and the custom option is and we need to select an option known as custom option that i'm going to show you once this download is completed as you can see guys there are this particular msi file got successfully downloaded i'll say show in folder i'll be taken to the downloads folder we have where we have this msi file just double click on this msi file guys preparing to install these wait while windows uh, configure mysql i got a user access control dialog i'm just selecting yes let's wait for the installation video wizard to progress further again i got user access control for second time i'm selecting yes mysql installer 1.6 is coming as per uh, this year and all you may get a different version that's okay now installation wizard uh, came up and here don't select full or something okay select custom option just be sure about this okay the latest way of installing mysql server and workbench client we have to select select custom option otherwise you will not be able to install mysql server and um, workbench client properly okay select custom option click on next and here you will get this option of select products where first one is mysql servers expand that expand this mysql server and you got this mysql server expand that and you will get this mysql server 8.0.30 whatever the version that is available at this year just select this green button and uh, mysql server got added similarly expand this applications and first option is mysql workbench expand that expand this and you will see this mysql workbench with some version as per this year click on next okay i uh, select this option and this will be moved to the right side now we are going to use selected mysql server and mysql workbench to get installed click on next these two options are ready to installed click execute installation is going on it's saying installing let's wait for the installation to complete now mysql workbench client is getting installed let's wait for the mysql workbench client to get installed It's taking some time. Let's wait for some more time. It's almost there. 99%. Let's see. Once the installation is complete, this execute button will get enabled, guys. So we have to wait for this execute button to get enabled so that we can go to the next steps. as you can see it's complete both of them has been completed and uh, we got next button actually click on next mysql server ready to configure next uh, don't change anything here just click on next don't change anything in this click on next you will get this accounts and roles so you have to go till accounts and roles and here there is a mysql root password is being asked i'll give the root as a password guys in lower case so that i can remember Re repeat password here also i'll give root rot it's saying weak that's okay guys uh, this is just in our machine right that's okay uh, just click on add user and here give the username as admin and password also as admin admin okay it will say weak but don't worry about this click on okay it will be working fine here root and here add user and admin okay click on next don't change anything here guys click on next and click on execute okay all these options will be done so we followed some steps here guys uh, we have given root and root as password in we went till accounts and roles and we gave root and root as password and repeated the password we clicked on add user and we gave admin admin as username and password and we click on okay and click on next and then 
we selected the execute button okay and uh, finally uh, it will complete the execution and uh, we'll click on finish button let's click on the finish button guys again it's asking for next uh, do you want to launch the workbench uh, client i don't want to launch it uh, from here click on finish for now i want to launch it in a different way that's it guys okay so here uh, i deselected the option to launch the mysql workbench if i have to launch it again i can open the search and uh, search for workbench and i'll get this mysql workbench this is the easiest way to launch select that and mark mysql workbench will launch in a while okay using GUI version of the client mysql workbench okay in a while you will see mysql workbench you see it's uh, launching okay it has launched also what are the next step we have to follow this is the older connection guys i'll delete this connection okay uh, some previous instances are there but you will get something like this if you are installing for the first time search workbench in windows and open the software we did that and uh, now select the databases and select manage connections select manage connections and you'll get this dialog and here click on new button guys click on uh, give some name here give some name here you can give any name like mysql server okay my my sql server some names mysql server or mysql 1 2 anything you can give as a server name here click on test connection to see whether it's connecting or not is asking for the password give root as a password select okay you see successfully made the SQL con MySQL connection. That means it is working fine. Click on new. Okay. You see the new connection will be made. And again, give the MySQL uh, server, MySQL underscore server, underscore server as a server name. Again, test connection. Successfully made the connection uh, and uh, say new. Okay. Again, now one more thing is coming. No, no need to say new guys. Uh, delete this one delete this one only one mysql server is enough okay this one is enough guys let's close this it's working fine how to connect database connect to database you have to say and uh, here whatever the name you gave mysql server should come here and now say okay so when you say okay in a while you will get this you see uh, sometimes it will ask for the password guys give the root as a password it will ask for example if i close this and again if i open after doing those steps, if I say workbench and select this option, okay. So it's directly op uh, it's opening like this, and you'll see this kind of thing. Just click on that; it will ask for the password sometimes. Okay, just give root as a password. Just give root as a password, and say okay. Okay, so it will be going inside the workbench client. You can drag this side. This is not required. So here you got query one. This is a place where you are going to write the SQL queries. Okay. And here there are two tabs by default administration tab will be selected. Select the schema tab, and you will see the database here. Default database is coming as sys. Okay. Earlier version used to come with a lot of databases. Now only sys database is coming. We can't do anything. Okay. With whatever the databases we have, we have to go with that. So and we can run uh, in this database guys in this database uh, there uh, there is a sample table given under the tables if you see sysconfig is the table coming by default right click on this and select uh, rows automatically a query will be coming here and uh, you will get the results also okay limit 1000 a query has select star from okay this table name and you got the records you got all the records uh, table records okay so we can create our table and now we can work on all the stuff that I'm going to cover in the upcoming sessions, guys, okay? So this is a session only for installing MySQL server and Workbench client in the latest way, okay? So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye.